Welcome. It's a joy to worship together with you today. This is our final installment of our sermon series, Gone Fishing. Today, our theme is, fish can do that. So we get ready to ask that question. Let's prepare our hearts and our minds to worship. Good morning, St. Andrew. How beautiful are the places where you dwell, O Lord. This house cannot contain your glory. Even the heavens are bursting with the goodness of your presence. Happy are those who find their strength in you. Hear our prayers this day, holy God, as we proclaim your praises to all the earth. Let us worship together.
Let us pray. Holy mighty God, we come to you today praying for the safety of those in Afghanistan, of our troops who are caring for people and trying to um, help them escape, for those who are trying to leave, and for those who are in harm's way. We pray for the families of those who have lost loved ones. Lord, we pray for our nation and for our world as we go through this crisis. We pray for all who are suffering from COVID. We ask that you bring healing to this world. Lord, we love you, we praise you, we trust you. It's in your name we pray, amen. Today's scripture reading is Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all people princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Throughout my life, I have been delighted by discovering new ways to worship God. I've had wonderful experiences of worshiping God through creative readings of scripture, through new ways of prayer, through conversations, and through art. I can't draw a straight line, not one to save my life, but I once took a class that showed me how to take that crooked line and create something beautiful with doodles on a piece of paper. One of the most profound discoveries I had with regard to different ways of worship happened when I was 12 years old. My dad came home from a creative arts worship convention and he told me about liturgical dance. Now I had been taking ballet lessons since I was two years old. My parents started me early because they say I walked on my toes, I flitted everywhere and I twirled wherever I went. And I grew up in a church tradition, which I loved, that didn't have a lot of movement. They were very still standing and sitting and kneeling. So you imagine my delight when dad said there was a way to worship through dance. Straight away, my dad and I got to work. He was rehearsing the church choir for a presentation of John Rutter's Requiem. The speech, this piece was especially moving to me. It is filled with the lilt of flutes and oboes extended tones and the bursts of timpani. Dad decided that the setting of the 23rd Psalm was the place for a liturgical dance. What resulted was the most profound act of worship I have ever experienced. It is one of the things that read, it is one thing to read the Lord Shepherd is within me that God's rod and thy staff comfort me. 
But it's another thing to dance those lyrics. Thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That is my love language beyond reading is moving. When I worship through dance, I worshiped in a whole new way, a way that felt completely genuine, a way that I could worship most naturally, a way I've taught many people over the years. And for dancers especially, worshiping through movement, the most natural way to express themselves is a beautiful and comforting thing. Now, Psalm 148 speaks to the same thing, sort of. It calls for all creation to worship. For sun, moon, and stars, sea creatures, wind, fire, hail, mountains, hills, trees, birds, all creatures on the earth. I once was reading a children's book based on this psalm to my preschool Sunday school class. When we got to the page about the sea creatures praising the Lord, there were illustrations of colorful fish swimming in water. And this caught a student's eye. Fish can do that? The preschooler asked. My answer was yes, fish can and do Praise the Lord. They were made to do so. Many of us have heard whale songs or dolphin chatter. But did you know there are many, many ways other sea creatures make sounds? Schools of mollusks, for example, make a rhythmic drumming sound. Clownfish pop and click. Pistol shrimp blow loud and fast spurts of bubbles that sound like an explosion. Swell sharks are interesting. When a predator comes near, they swallow their own tails and they inhale air into their belly to blow themselves up and then they turn and hide. When danger is over, they pull out their tail and they exhale in a sound that sounds like a long, howl or a bark from a wild wolf or hyena. The northern seahorses dance during courtship, making music by clicking their bony heads together. Oyster toadfish have a song that sounds like a boat whistle. Sea urchins sound like somebody eating with their mouths open. A fish called the plain fish midshipman makes a loud droning hum. So much though that Sausalito, California houseboat boat residents complained that a loud sound was coming from the bay and it kept them awake at night. There were theories of sewage pumps, military experiments, submarines making this sound but it was ultimately discovered that the source of the loud noise was a large grouping of plain fish midshipmen droning. The black drumfish has a slow and low call. It is so low, it can travel long distances through water, ground, and even into the walls of people's houses. Mantin, mantis shrimp rumble and growl. And the lollipop darter sounds like the bass beat of a rap music playing in a passing car. Now these are just a few examples, a smattering of examples, but you get the idea. Fish can and do make music, a joyful noise, if you will. We were made to make a joyful noise also. The only difference is that our music, our praise is voluntary. 
We can choose to make music to the Lord or we can refrain. Or we can choose to dance or shout to praise the Lord or we can choose to be still. Now, you may say, I can't sing, I can't dance. Your praise, your worship may look different. It might be different than a choir member's voice or a guitarist in a praise band. It may be sounds of a good conversation, being a shoulder to cry on for somebody in need. It might be laughter with loved ones or even a broom swooshing across the kitchen floor. Colossians 3 says, whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord. How do you give your day to the Lord? How do you worship the Lord throughout your day? For me, movement is the most natural way to worship. If you watch, you'll see that I can't be still when we're singing music in worship. I'm always a swaying. And when I'm speaking, my hands are the punctuation and my hands help create the images my words are trying to convey. I once had a teacher ask me, if I tie your hands behind your back, would you stutter? Probably would. I move. That is my praise. Fish sing and groan. What is your praise? Whatever you do, however you do it, join the sun, moon, and stars, the sea creatures, the wind, the fire, the hail, mountains, hills, trees, birds, all creatures on earth, and all man nature in manifold witness to God's great faithfulness, mercy, and love. May all of God's singing, barking, drumming, humming, swooshing, swaying, praying, and praising children said, Amen. of our God and King. Lift up your voice and with us sing. Oh, praise Him. Hallelujah. Thou burning sun with golden
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.